A bill that would require the president to impose property and visa blocking sanctions on certain people affiliated with Iran now reintroduced in Washington. It's called the Masha Act, inspired by Masha Amini, the young woman killed by Iran's morality police. This measure is gaining a lot of support. But as News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell explains, advocates are calling on more members of Congress to co-sponsor the bill. I never thought for, you know, a city such as Nashville, Tennessee, with such a small Iranian community, that we will be able to get a mural up like this. The Nashville mural represents Masa Amini and the people of Iran standing up against the regime. You know, a month or two ago, um, a lot of the students, you know, women and girls in specific, they all poured out into the streets protesting for their basic human rights back. Hundreds have been killed and thousands more detained by the regime. It says Jin Jian Azadi and this is Zan Zindagi Azadi. It's why Emily Sharif wants to see the Masa Act become law. Basically what it would do is it imposes sanctions on the supreme leader and president of Iran in their office due to their basic human rights violations and their support for terrorism. These young advocates say these phones have a lot of power and it does not take much to pick it up to call your local representative. Making those calls and getting this act passed through Congress, I mean, it would do more for Iranian people than I mean, I think people would ever even imagine. Congressman Mark Green, representing Tennessee's 7th District, was someone Sharif really wanted to co-sponsor the bill. After several calls to his office, Representative Green agreed to be a co-sponsor of the Masa Act, saying in part, it is a critical first step to holding the Iranian regime accountable for its crimes against the Iranian people, and we cannot turn a blind eye to this violence. Sharif is grateful for his support and hopes to get more lawmakers on board. Us as constituents, we have this right. We have the right to contact them, ask them for what we want them to support. In Nashville, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5. Representative Diana Harshbarger, representing District 1 in the state, has already signed on to be a co-sponsor. The bill currently has close to 60 co-sponsors. Now to learn more about the bill, head on over to newschannel5.com.